Next game we're talking about is Dig Mars. Yeah, it's designed by Oliver. Oh, I got a three on this one. Uh, Partly because of my handwriting. Let's try it again. <laughs> Oliver Sahavine. And the art was by Rainus Peterser, uh, Peterson's and is published by Brain Games. I don't know if we should edit that out, Matt. Yeah, yeah. sorry. <laughs> I'm just playing. Full positive. Uh, yeah. Anyway, it's a game. Uh, Jeremy, you want to explain it? You want to explain how it plays? Do you remember how it plays? It plays exactly like the Flash game, if I remember correctly. The what? The Flash game. There's a Flash game? There's a Flash game where you do nothing but dig, dig, dig. It's pull up the web page and you do it for hours. Oh, gotcha. That Flash game. Oh, okay. I, was, gotcha. I thought you meant the Flash. Yeah. <laughs> no, not the Flash. Well, anyway, go ahead. Adobe. Do you want do you want Adobe Flash? I'll take it. I don't know. take it on because I don't remember enough about it. Fair enough. All right. So you put all these tiles in the middle of the table. It's a grid. I think it's like four by four or something like that. Each one has three tiles in the stack. Each player gets some equipment tiles that you put a marker on each one, and it signifies your, your abilities basically on a level of one, two, three, or four. So one is movement, or uh, was it movement? One was move. Yeah, one was move, and it could be one, two, or three, or four. Another one was, um, maybe it wasn't movement. No, I think It was move, dig but... and carry, and how many pieces you got. That's what it was. Mm. So dig. Pieces, yes. Dig, you can dig a level one, two, three, or four tile. Each tile is either one, two, three, or four. You can um, carry one, two, three, or four, which the, the when you flip the tiles over, because they're face down, if the carry level is a certain amount, you know, you may not be able to carry it. And then the last thing is how many guys you have on the map. One, two, three, or four. And basically the whole point of the game is you get so many actions on your turn. It's like three or something. And you can move your guys around. When you move, you can move once or you can move in a straight line. Uh, ortho- or, uh, yeah, ortho- orthogonally, mm-hmm. whatever. Or you can dig in that spot that you're in. Or you can carry or you can upgrade one of your cards by spending resources, which are points at the end of the game. Mm-hmm. Right. Essentially, one victory point for one victory point. Or one victory point for one point of upgrade. Mm. Yes. And it takes as much as the level you're on. So if you're going from two to three, it costs two. Anyway, the whole point of the game is you move around on this board trying to dig, flip over tiles, and see what they give you points-wise. Um, but the interesting thing is the forced cooperation of the game. Whereas, if your, level, if your dig level is a two and you need a four, well, you get two plus one for every other person's piece that's on that including your other pieces. Mm -hmm. You know, if I got two pieces, it's not four, it would be two plus one. And then if you had one, it would be three. And then if Jeremy had one, it'd be four. But then in the end, (laughs) you picked up the box. I don't remember all this. (laughs) In the end, you, uh, like say you picked up one that's worth four points, the force cooperation, you split up all the points for the player discs and stuff like that. And you keep going until somebody reaches a score that's, defined by the amount of players you're playing or all the tiles have flipped over and been cashed in and then, then wh- whoever has the most points win. He's just going to look at the whole game. I was going to say, what are we doing? It's an <laughs> unboxing. We're unboxing Dig yeah, Mars. Unboxing videos. <laughs> anyway, do you remember this game? I just realized this is not the same Dig game that I played. <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay. I'm glad you didn't I'm take so on explaining confused. it. That would be very uh, interesting. That, that's what he's doing. Okay. I'll, <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> I don't remember any of this. <laughs> Well, anyway, so that's pretty much the game. It's very light, and I think that uh, I think it was simple. It was good. I don't know how many times I'll play this game, but what what did you think, man? I don't know. What do you think, Jeremy? Fantastic! That, <laughs> I, love it. I just loved it so much. <laughs> it's uh, I you can play it one of two ways. I think I played it very uh, solitaire like, where I kind of just kept by myself and did my own thing. Whereas you kind of did more of uh, trying to leech off of other people, <laughs> and because uh, you could just hop on a space if it looked like they were about to do a flip and carry, sorry, dig and carry, then you would just like hop on a space and you you're going to get something for it. Yeah, and if it's worth three and it's me and you, you get two, I get one, right? Because you get the leftover. But yeah, you're right. I mean, there is a couple different strategies. You can upgrade your 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 dig power so and get on spaces where you can dig the heavy stuff and carry it, mm-hmm. or you can do like me and just upgrade how many people you got and just run around everywhere. Right. And I mean, I I've pretty much the same way you said. I don't know that I'd really care to play it anymore or many more times. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's just it didn't really do a whole lot for me. Yeah, I probably played a few more times and then maybe play with other groups and stuff. But as far as the game, like I think it was it was interesting, it was neat, but not as meaty as I would like the game to be. Right. But certain people, certain families and stuff might actually kind of think it's pretty neat. Mm-hmm. 
I, and even if you stay away from doing the uh, forced cooperation part of it, you know, if you don't really go for that and you kind of go off, everybody's going off on their own, then it just becomes a race. Right. But it's kind of calculated because you know what tiles you're going after, two or three or four or one, whatever. So I think it would work if everybody's not doing that. Yeah. Uh, you know, something interesting, though, going back to like uh, Serenissima, I know I brought this up whenever we talked about it, is uh, you're pretty much spending uh, victory points to upgrade. So it's up to you to kind of balance on, you know, how much do I want to give up and what do I gain for it? That is a great thing to bring up because it is, you know, you spend two points to upgrade your 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 dig from two to three. I better get it back real quick. That's two victory points. And when we're talking about, I think it's like 20 or 24 points in that range, that, or maybe it's 25. I think it was only like 18 or something like that. It may have been. It's well, point is, it's a low amount. But you have to upgrade because you don't get that many points quickly. Even the way I was doing it, I was leeching off people, but I still had to do my own stuff as well. Mm-hmm. I just I just upgraded a lot of people at first, threw them on tiles that you guys were on, hoping that you would just be like whatever, you know, because it does help you dig, you know, because we were, if you dig and you had a couple other pieces there, you may not have had the dig capacity to get it anyway, right? And so having other people on that same tile allows you to dig it, but you're just splitting it with everybody. Mm-hmm. So and they had some special abilities when you flip up the tiles. Oh right, like when you flip it up, it might give you a free action of a different type or whatever, or one of the types. And or you might be able to relocate somebody's piece. So it was kind of fun to have like a couple people in one spot and be like, I'm going to dig it anyway. And if if it comes up and I can move you, I'm moving you. Right. You can throw them off to another spot. I don't know why they chose to use different iconography for the special abilities, but it was super confusing for most people. But me, (laughs) because I had the rule book. in front of me. (laughs) But I was like, that does not look like a dig action. It was saying flip over the tile. But that's not the same action that's on your dig tile. It's like a little down arrow. Right. Mm-hmm. Why not just use that same thing? Exactly. I don't know. But I don't know. It was, um, yeah, it was all right. Yeah. I mean, I, I'll recommend playing it once, but maybe not like, I don't know. Jeremy, does it sound interesting to you at all? A little bit. <laughs> we'll play it with you. I got sidetracked because I was trying to remember the name of that game and... I couldn't find it. Oh, fair enough. 